Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing and please if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. Um, at the end of Matro Boxing, we all know the 5v5 um, war between Matro um, and Frank Warren's Queensbury promotion takes place this upcoming uh, weekend. It's going to be fireworks, expect drama, expect, um, expect everything, expect um, ferociousness, expect knockout, expect basically fire. So I didn't confirm that uh, the two-time unified heavyweight king of the universe, Anthony Joshua, will be attending the fight um, on his own will basically not sponsored or not invited by um turkey lashik and joshua wants to be there to witness basically the first kind of the first new format going forward in boxing because who would have thought wilder and Eddie hen will be friends not friends but would work together because i don't think they are friends yet but i'm very surprised that frank warren and Eddie hen managed to basically sort out everything and they came to a conclusion that the reason why the river the rivalry literally went downwards is because of IFA TV. I've been saying that IFA TV have stirred a lot of controversies, a lot of rivalry. They did that with Fury, um, Joshua, Wilder, Joshua. And of course, I know that the 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 most work done were by the Wilder fanatics in a way. Then. I want I want Water to win. I want him to win this upcoming weekend because I Water is no no shades at uh, no shades no shades at of uh, Janjali, but Water is better for boxing than Janjali in terms of exposure because Water talks. He has that character, that personality. You know, he always brings the bomb squad mentality. He just. At the time, I hated that thing, bro. At the time, I really hated it. But now I'm beginning to look at it. I'm like, hey, man, why did I hate it so much? It's because I, I, I feel like I went too far aboard because of Water Fanatic, because of what we talked about Joshua and stuff like that. And Water discovered discovered that he um, is a Dubai tribe, you know, Nigerian and stuff like that. And I was still very hesitant. But at the point when I begin to see a peaceful Water, and it became very peaceful went to Croatia, did all those uh, ayahuasca, ayahuasca, something like that. He became a very different person. So, I didn't see the fire anymore. His last fight against Joseph Parker was, was basically trash. He didn't pull the trigger. He didn't fight. He didn't stand his ground. That's not the war that we know. So I was very like, damn man, what happened? What the hell happened? But now, we want the whole water back, basically. We want him back. And water is good for boxing. Water Joshua might have to happen at some time. Of course, I don't like seeing Nigerians fight each other in a way. I know some will say water is from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, where I know that he was born, brought up there. But I'm saying his ancestral lineage is Nigerian, basically. So, but at this time, I don't really care because all these guys want to fight AJ. I mean, Jojo is one and Joshua being that the both of them have Nigerian heritage. Um who else again? Almost everybody. So this fight fighting game is just about money. It's not about oh this guy's Nigerian or this guy is British or this guy's like it doesn't matter, man. Or oh, it's just individual thing. So let's see. We need to see the the best fight the best. I think I've I've been one of the problems. You know, it not I always want to see Joshua fight water though or anybody but Joshua is not scared of anyone or doesn't dirk any fight that's facts but a lot of fighters um basically prize themselves out in the way so at the end confirmed that uh, Deontay the bronze Bomba water um yeah he's happy to win for match room and that um yeah that Joshua will be there like this is at the end of match boxing saying that uh, you know to come back he's still only what 25 26 and Hergovic, for a long time, has been considered an elite heavyweight, but he's got to show it. And the winner of that fight is very likely to face Anthony Joshua at Wembley Stadium. 
I mean, what, what bigger carrot do you need? And AJ's coming as well. AJ will be here. I mean, you know, AJ was invited out to Fury Usyk. You know he don't like to come to those things because he's just not in. He loved it. And when he saw this event and he saw the lineup and he saw the concept, he says, I'm coming to that off his own back. And that shows you that, you know, that how intriguing this event is. I feel bad having to ask you this, but I'm going to ask you anyway. So you heard it right there from me here. Joshua will be in Riyadh uh, this weekend to watch um, 5A5 at Queensbury versus Smart Room. You have great, great fight on the card, by the way. Um, you had you have like um, of course the big one, Water Jang, you know, uh, Egovich Dubois. That's a, an intriguing fight. I tell you right now, that's a fight. I don't know. I I want to predict the I want to predict that fight, but I don't know how. I don't know how because like uh, like you look at both guys, you cannot go by the sparring rumors and stuff like that because that was many many years ago. Fighters change. Yes, we know that Dubois uh, quits um when he get hurt but last time he, he was able to like uh basically pull the flame of um of jeremy Miller out you know and you have to give dubois you know credit for that egovich you know solid amateur pedigree but as a pro you know he struggled you know against janjali arguably lost that fight as well so we don't know what to expect but one thing about water is that the new water I'm seeing now is very hungry, very determined, uh, ready to pounce on anyone. Um, it's just one of those things you look at and say, wow, if it happens, it's going to be crazy. So Joshua going to Riyadh, you know, to watch this fight is big because he could, he could be fighting the winner um, between Govish and Dubois. Uh, uh, or water or water jank it depends the IBF right now we don't know their next step the IBF was supposed to be on the line for Egovich Dubois but uh, the rumor has it that rumor has it that um, it's not going to be on the line there's no time left but I think the belt need to be vacated or stripped off music because where does he end basically you give them another exception and then the fight for the rematch and then the what happens then then who uh, can just literally vacate the bells and then Egovich fight for it, fight for it again. So it doesn't really make sense in a way, because Fury, if Fury beats Usyk, then what next? You know, then you get a trilogy fight, and then the best has uh, the the best has to be on the line again. Um, no, nah, I don't think it makes sense. So just 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 rip Usyk off it. They already they already give him this and give the, give him an exception, and it's just what it is. Joshua was in the same position basically. And nobody complained then. You know, nobody complained. Joshua was in similar position, you know. So it's just one of those things because if Joshua, if Joshua didn't fight uh, Usyk, because Joshua wasn't obligated to fight Usyk, he could have just said, okay, I'm giving up the WBO and then, yeah, and then move on. But instead, he fought Usyk. So this is why I respect Joshua and I always will respect Joshua because he is... A very determined person, a person that never ducks any fight and keeps on working on himself. That shows how how determined he is, you know, how resilient he is. The guy has so much resilience, bro. You can imagine what it has been through in this boxing game, especially the people who wrote him off when he lost to Ruiz. You know, you know, they lost to Usyk twice. They say, listen, let, let, let him retire and stuff like that. So boxing is a very, very, very um, savage sport. And uh, not only the fights are savage, the fans are savage as well. You know, they can turn on and off at any time. And that is sad for the fighters. This is why I like the fact that Turkey Lashi came into the game a little bit late. Because I think if Turkey Lashi came around... Uh, during the water Joshua saga, I think the other thing would have happened a long time ago, and it would have been nice to see these two brothers basically become on this period. But it's sad, man. It is. I I still think about it because Usyk beat Fury, but Usyk stock still has a reason in a way. Usyk Usyk social media is not go is not blowing up 
like he's not getting all this and doesn't use endorsement deals and stuff like that it shows that the right man might have won good but was Usyk win beneficiary to the to the to every edition? I don't know. I don't know because um, Americans are not really talking about it. But re- imagine if it would if it was Joshua Ward that fought for undisputed, bro. Imagine at the time they were both undefeated, bro. America, Canada, the whole wide world would go ballistic. It's just something about it. You know, it's it's crazy. Like, I'm, but I'm happy that Usyk won over Fury, though, because Fury is somebody you can never trust at all. That guy switches up any time, any day, and because he's bipolar, or I don't know, bipolar, or pretend to be bipolar, it, it, it gets a little bit, um, yeah, it gets a little bit, um, yeah, crazy to, like, it gets a little, yeah, I don't, I don't trust Fury at all. So that's why I'm, I'm thinking about okay let IBF strip Usyk now okay strip strip him now because the the, the it will it will never end you know if the if he beats Usyk then he, he the fight for trilogy and then for the belts again Usyk will want to fight for the belts again so better strip Usyk now and the winner you know can reunite again with the winner of that fight that's just what it is so uh guys give it us below like the video share subscribe the two-time unified every king of the universe will be like will be live and present in riyadh and um yeah i can't wait man i, I was enjoyed seeing joshua last time i enjoyed i think he finds he, he's finding his own fire as well being there watching those guys and he's also studying them studying his next possible opponent you know it's gonna be interesting guys god bless you all